Again, let's just add the toes in the mix here to stretch that out. But I'm also getting a little bit of flexion in that calf using my other hand to grab just distally of the uh, malleolus. Hi, I'm Christopher Brenner, founder of the Muscle Talk Method. And in today's dynamic sports cupping therapy protocol, we're going to be targeting plantar fasciitis. So it's important that we analyze the structures that are involved in plantar fasciitis. One, we have to look at the calf muscles themselves. So our gastrocnemias, our soleus, it's a, a attachment here to form the Achilles tendon that attaches the calcaneus because muscle tension here is going to pull on this calcaneus, which is then going to pull on this uh, plantar fascia uh, here as well, uh, contributing to pain. So we can't overlook the importance of including uh, this in our treatment. First, I'm going to start with using the silicone cups. I like the silicone cups in this particular uh, treatment protocol because it's easier to find the right shapes to fit onto these bonier uh, landmarks versus uh, using the uh, glass cups or even the ionic cups. The ionic cups I do like along the calf. So we want to look at the size. And uh, this medium-sized silicone cup fits on that quite nicely right there. So we're going to go ahead and push this in and attach it over that calcaneus there. So depending on the foot size, we're going to take um, a smaller cup in this case because it fits uh, much better there than the size between these two. So we're going to go ahead and push this back and apply it right there in the middle of the uh, plantar fascia. Taking our ionic cup and we're going to apply it right there. We're going to apply it to the outside portion too, that uh, soleus targeted. Good. And we're going to move up this uh, soleus muscle right there, getting both the medial and then lateral uh, portions there. And now I want to target where this calf, the gastroc muscle turns into tendon and that's right about here. This is all tendon. So we're going to go ahead and apply it right there specifically located at that junction. Now moving to the gastroct and the motor point, what we want to do is find the popliteal crease. We're going to take our hand there, we're going to go three fingers width down, we're going to place a cup right there, and we're going to do the same thing with the lateral portion. So we're going to find our popliteal crease, we're going to go four fingers width down, we're going to apply a cup there. Again, let's just add the toes in the mix here to stretch that out. But I'm also getting a little bit of flexion in that calf using my other hand to grab just distally of the uh, malleolus. So go ahead and leave me a comment down in the comment section below on how this protocol has worked for you in your clinic or office. And I'll see you in the next episode.